Godot has been trending on Twitter and Google search recently and for good reason. We are anticipating the release of Godot 4 and its popularity as an engine for game jams, for learning to code and just as a great all-round choice for making games is shining through. Here are five channels helping to spread the good Godot vibes to everyone. Game, game Dev Journey, journey. Cinepol has clearly heard the good word about Godot because he's challenged himself to learn the engine in 30 days. In this episode it's day 15 and he's come a long way. Essentially he's recreated the classic Atari game Asteroids and he has most of the fundamentals down for creating games. If you're only finding this series now, the good news is that you have 15 episodes ready to watch and 14 more to come. So hop on board and subscribe now to enjoy the ride. Practical Game Design has come to the rescue with a tutorial on how to use the animation player to fire a projectile instead of doing this in code. The tutorial is set up with a robot that rotates a weapon into position and it then shoots a fireball. The goal of the channel itself is to deconstruct published board and video games with the objective of finding useful patterns and rules that game designers can use to make better games. There are quite a few Godot tutorials here already, so do go over and check them out. Nathan Hode is the embodiment of the Godot community spirit. He has solved a problem for his own game and has decided to share that solution with all of us for our games. He's made and released an add-on for Godot that helps you make puzzle dependency charts. What is that you ask? Well, it's a list of all the puzzles and steps for solving a puzzle in an adventure game. You can imagine in an adventure game when you're finding items which are needed to unlock different parts of a puzzle at different stages that things can get messy. So thank you Nathan for making this and sharing it with the world. Oh, and his channel is full of awesome Godot content, so go and check it out now. If you want to learn about how to do advanced object picking in Godot, then Berry Boy has got you covered. Judging by the comments on his video, this is something that the community really wanted and is really grateful for. Berry also has another method of object selection on his channel and also cool devlogs for his own game Murarama made in Godot. You can follow his journey into game development there, so find the link in the description and enjoy the channel. Godojo is new on the scene and has recently been releasing some really useful tutorials for those working in Godot. If you want to know how to set up a server and a client in Godot and basic networking, then this video will guide you to the goalpost. Just browsing Godojo's channel and I can see a number of Godot tutorials there which will quickly take you from white to black belt. For more Godot coding kata, kick your way to the Godojo now. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.